I'll talk to him later. Alright, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mikey Report Live. I have Skype calls coming in. Let me just find my one slide where I can put who's calling me, calling in here. Ah, there we go. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are live once again. And I am Skyping right now with Mr. Bo Miller. Mr. Bo Miller, glad you could be here on the Mikey Report. Mr. Bo Miller, Mr. Bo Miller, glad you could be here on the Mikey Report. Thank you, Mikey. Appreciate it. No problem. And, uh,. I know you were saying to me while I was quote unquote off air that uh, you didn't get to see the Lady Patriots uh, end up having their not so great uh, game. So, um, what really were you pretty much trying to figure out? Like, well, um, I actually I saw the game the other night and uh, I was really happy with the way they started to um, to come back. I mean, it was amazing that they came back from the deficit they had in the game they played before this one and uh, mm -hmm. actually kind of ran away with it. The only thing that's uh, that's been frustrating me as I watched them play has been the fact that um, they're not knocking down layups. Uh, they're you know, it's it's kind of lackadaisical as far as some of the passing and everything's concerned. Uh, I just think they need some crisp passes mm -hmm. and um, just they, they need to knock down layups. Bro, you can't have that many open shots and uh, and expect to win all the time. It, it just it's not going to happen. Oh yeah, I I agree with you 100. percent the The layup making was not there for either game actually. Today's today's game we started off sluggish. We weren't able to control the ball like we needed to. We weren't playing Valley Forge basketball. And I know you've been at pretty much almost all the women's games, if not all of them, and saw how our ladies played. So you know for a fact that that you know something like this is not characteristic of how Reggie manages it, the squad. Exactly. And that, and we got behind early. KCU definitely is the dominant team. They were dominant during the second half of the season, according to how I've uh, seen everything on uh, their web, on their athletic uh, schedule, with their schedule, and that they were just dominating as of late. And even though we had beaten them. They they weren't the Kentucky team that we faced wasn't weren't in sync. They weren't working together, and it seemed just like the reverse happened today. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Where we ended up being not in sync, not together. Uh, granted, some injuries plagued us too. Like Amanda Reich, she wasn't a hundred percent. Vandy oh. Jones, she's out been out for a good portion of the second semester. And that, and really, you and the shots weren't going. The the three point shot wasn't going down for Morgan and Amanda like they normally do. And Compton wasn't being. Uh, they weren't working Compton in in the post. And the and dribble penetration wasn't completely there. I mean, it was working, but it wasn't completely there. See now, now I have a better picture of um, what we're missing. Mm -hmm. So I understand that. Um, but the good thing, the good I thing have to is, say, um, to give some props to uh, uh, Amanda Compton, yeah, um, her her rebounding as of late and some of her inside play has uh, has improved. Mm -hmm. I think her aggressiveness 
in the post. Um, if we get some other players uh, to to work with her, because I know we're 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 going to be losing a couple seniors. But yeah, we're losing to Leia and Sharla. We're losing a three, pretty much a three point shooter and someone who is good on a fast break and stealing. So and, I mean, stealing and penetration too. So. Yeah, Talay is good with penetration. So I mean, we're going to lose those two factors, but. Uh, we are a very young squad still, and True. that so we're we still have that opportunity. Vandy will be coming back from injury, so we'll uh -huh. have her. Uh, Reich still has a couple years to go, so we we will still have Caitlin as well. So she's a good presence in the post as well to spell Compton for a little bit. And but there's no need to fret for us because we made it this is the farthest we've ever gone as a women's program this is true fourth uh third the third place game in the national tournament that is big final four in the national tournament is big whether you really know it or not making the national tournament is big regardless but if you get if you get into the final four that's huge yeah i mean everyone strives to be that those final four teams Everyone strives to be a champion, but they try to look at it one game at a time. And I'm wondering if they, w when they saw Maranatha win against Ohio Christian, mm -hmm. were they looking ahead? Were they looking ahead? That's my thing because they're like, oh, we could beat Maranatha. We were leery about Ohio Christian, but we were pretty sure we could beat Maranatha. Because I had talked with Talia and Morgan last night via Skype okay. over TMR and over this wonderful program that you and s someone else are viewing as well. And I and I was like, who would you rather face? And they're like, Maranatha, but we don't think so. Which, I mean, I could understand that. But I ended the conversation with focus on tomorrow. Exactly. Because that's the way it needs to be. You need to focus on the game at hand, which was Kentucky Christian. True. But things just didn't pan out, and it just, I don't know what happened. Well, and here, here's the key to that, too. Um, Looking ahead was one thing, but now um, they get the different of two evils again because now they have to play Ohio mm -hmm. Christian, who, you know what I mean, that was... Yeah, it's, I'm like, it's a lesser of two evils, but yeah. he, he, and because I was looking at the bracket, I'm like, when I was going through everything... Because uh -huh. there's this whole, there was this whole debate when the selection show happened um, through CCSN. Should Valley Forge be ranked higher than Mar should have been ranked higher than Maranatha, or should they stayed at fourth? Coach Watson and his crew put Valley Forge at four, which I mean, I was I think four was a good seed for them though. I four was a good seed. Uh, either way, it would have would have been a good seed it, it definitely in first round because it was either we faced uh who would have it been Thir either grace or um clearwater christian so I mean yeah it was either grace or clearwater and i mean clearwater lost today and lost against us so they're out of they're playing in seventh place game yeah. Grace is playing for fifth against the North Central so tomorrow. So, I mean, either way, it would have been fine there, but then you would have to look like, okay, you end up either facing Ohio or Kentucky anyway. That's true. So, If it still panned out in our favor if we fa ended up facing uh, Grace. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, that's true. and that, I mean, really, it is lesser of two evils there. And now, like you said, lesser of two evils because we got Ohio Christian now, who is a, 
pretty much huge. I'd say, according to this, it's about a nine, maybe nine to twelve point favorite over us. Over us. Well, if our, you know, because they're scoring seventy six point five a game, we're scoring sixty seven in this tournament, and they're giving up. You now, our girls are giving up seventy nine and a half compared to them giving up only sixty six. And 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 I, I I see that I understand that I've been quite impressed though with our girls uh, pushing the ball and and scoring as of late. They during the regular season they weren't pushing the ball like they have been in the tournament. Mm -hmm. As I mean, long as they get into that transition and the fast, as long as they have a good transition and a good fast break, uh -huh. that's really helped propel us, especially with the speed of Chanel McKeither. Uh, especially with Chanel, she's yeah. definitely helped us in that category. Truly has, truly has. I, I you know, and I wish I could get in her head sometimes though, because uh, great ball player, electric, um, and everything. But I, I got to get her to calm down, and um, just um, it, it's take it, take it a little bit more seriously because she gets upset and down on herself if she misses those layups but if you go in there with a purpose and a mission at mi in mind you know you're going to make the layup then she'll do it every time but she's got there's there's some things that need to practice on but she's young yet and it's going to be a good mm -hmm. uh reggie's got a lot to work with uh on her yeah like our, like our the, game but i think mm -hmm. because of the way this team played this season um they're going to be looking. They're going to be looking much better with some of the pieces. I think Reggie can uh, actually recruit and put into place for next season. I think we're going to be. Uh, we'll, we'll be all right. Um, I'd love to see them bring back uh, a third place trophy from the tourney. Um, mm -hmm. I'm believing in them to do it and everything like that. So, but uh, even if not, we still. They they've shown uh, great heart and great effort, mm -hmm. even with the injuries and the loss of a few players. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just really proud of them. Yeah. Really. I mean, like like I said, they, we are a very young squad, uh, the girls are, and we have a lot to work with. So we we definitely have a good for, force to be reckoned with. Uh, I know Trent McGee said in tonight's broadcast that um, <laughs> to Coach Drew Watson of PB, PBU, that he should be making sure he's recruiting to face Valley Forge because uh, Valley Forge <laughs> isn't losing much when they lose. Uh, uh, granted, Talia and Sharla are good players and they have an impact. Oh, yeah. But we have still a lot of ripe, a talent that is ready to ripen in order to use a fruit, and we're nearing spring, so I'm allowed to use farming terms, too. <laughs> okay. I see, I see. So, we have a lot to work with, and we're, I know Reggie's out, re, uh, been recruiting more players, and that I know he's got probably uh, some DVDs to watch of players up and coming. True. And that and some high school players who we might be looking at. Shane will, and Justin will be helping him with that as well. I'm sure they're going to be on for a pretty decent time. And that. So it's definitely good news to know and that we... The thing about it is, I think that our school has, um, not just at, not athletically, because it's, it's a little bit different as far as... Uh, recruiting some of those top players that go to schools that can offer scholarships and everything else like that. Mm -hmm. but I think our school offers a, a wonderful environment for a, a, a young lady or even a young man to mature um, in Christ as well as uh, not just spiritually, like I'm saying, not just spiritually, but also physically and mentally as far as uh, their ball game skills. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Now, I'm did you get to see the men's game at all? No. No? I just, I knew, I knew they were going to win. I, I just, I love my boys so bad, I just knew they were going to mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you gotta love the boys and that. They, um, from from what I saw the other night, um, and I, I gotta tell you, Mikey, um, Lance, uh, I haven't seen Lance this uh, amped up and excited um, in a long time. You know, Lance seems to be kind of laid back and everything, but I saw a definite change in um, how he's approaching the game and how their defense has ramped up uh, tremendously mm. in, in, in these last two games. I, I'm just, I'm in awe. I think what happened was when LBC came into our house and beat us, I don't know what it did, but it, it, it somebody kicked them in the tail and it was like, we're going to, uh, we're well, going pe- out to, to pe- win us a championship. People have been saying that they've, it seems like Valley Forge has been playing with a chip on their shoulder for both squads, really, because Valley Forge ended up losing to LBC in the championship game for the men's side. Uh-huh. And yeah, LBC got knocked out uh, early, so that, I think, kind of <laughs> helped us, in a sense, have a little bit of motivation. True. And uh, to be the East Region rep, and... Uh, for the girls, I mean, maybe they felt like fourth wasn't good enough. In well, some people's you know, minds, it may be, but our girls, they want to strive to be number one. Well, and I, and I, be, I believe in that 100%. Um, the one thing they have to understand and what they have to do, especially not only in basketball, but if we're walking Christ, like, they have to understand to humble themselves. Yes, they won the Eastern... Uh, the East Region, yeah. East region. But, and, and you've won more games than you had in the past, but how well do you think you're playing as a team? Mm-hmm. How well are you knocking down your free throws? How well are you making wide open layups and a lot of other stuff? How well are you trying to rein the ball in and not have those turnovers that they were having? Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of things that they were not doing well. And it's because, like you said, I think their heads were in a different place. Mhm. Yeah, sometimes it just ends up being that way. I mean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like I say, you live and you learn. I had, ri- I had uh, told, Talia had put on her status that everybody else had their head down, but she's holding her head high because. We went 22 and 12. We accomplished something. One region to make history. There you go. Kentucky won, was number one. They won the last na- four national titles. Oh, our first time here. And she's a senior. And everyone else has years left. You li- And she said, you live and you learn. She doesn't have any excuses at all. And I'm like, nicely put, Leia. We got something to still play for third place get them and she's right. you right Mikey so I mean we we really and still some people still have their heads held high because it's still that powerful uh, it's still the moment of like we did something we yeah. did something for this school we put women's basketball at, on the map at the school and I believe in them. I'm just, I'm really so proud of them. Right funny, th- funny thing was, I've been involved with women's basketball since high school. Mm-hmm. I, I was announcing, I wasn't announcing, I was taking stats for my high school, which was a state quarter finalist for like the last few years of the times I've been there. Right. And then I came here, announced guys basketball, women's basketball wasn't even wor- functioning at that time in 0506. Uh-huh. The guys went 10 and 22. I leave <laughs> and 2007, 2008 they turn they flip the stinking thing around. That's right. Go to their first national tournament and and they in 2007, 2008, 2009 seasons. Uh so uh, the 08, 09, 010, well, 2010, a little. I, we see the 
the I see this team that just flew by the seat of their pants in oh five oh six, and then it flipped completely around because of different people coming in, uh, more skill, more talent, and them actually using it for the best of the team instead of being selfish. And that's the good thing about it. I, I just you know. Uh, and look at uh, we're back to the national title game for the third year in uh, uh, second time out of the last three years and, and it, it's time I, I think that our men's team uh, not to get ahead of myself or anything else like that mm -hmm. uh, I just I think that our men's team this team that they have put together mm -hmm is ready to to take on uh, the role of being a champion. Mm -hmm. You know, a um, couple of them have to get themselves mentally prepared spiritually, but I think they uh, are able to take on the role of a champion. And there's some pieces that I think we're going to be able to have uh, in upcoming seasons that mm -hmm. are going to fill in wonderfully. We need to get a couple big men, but uh, I think we're going to be alright. I really do. I think so too. I mean, our girls are going to have probably a few new players too, I am assuming, and our guys will too, because our guys are losing two seniors as well. Yeah. Andrew Godwin, Sh Sean Taylor. Yes. Huge we, losses for us, but we, we can make mm -hmm. it happen. Godwin's a versatile player, and Taylor's definitely been big for us in the post. Yep. So, like, like we've said, we've been, we'll be able to make it through with uh, the coaches, with the head coaches we have with those two basketball programs. We'll be fine. So. Uh -huh. Once again, Bo, thanks for talking with us. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the Mikey Report all the time, and um, you just continue to be blessed, and uh, thank you for doing all that you've been doing for us. No problem. I got my mail today, so thanks. <laughs> hey, um, 5 o'clock, I, I don't think I'm doing anything besides uh, watching the games, or I'm going to try to watch both games at the same time, but okay. I, might need, I might need another computer's help, so... Okay, yeah, no problem. Just, um, I'm back on campus. Tomorrow is going to be my uh, getting back down to business day. I got some couple of exegesis to do. Well, like I said, both games are on at the same time, 5 o'clock, so. Oh, yeah, so we're good. So in the afternoon, um, I'll be up and looking for you, okay? All right, I'll be at work, so. All right, no problem. Mike. From 10 to noon, so. You take care, be blessed, and I'll talk to you later. All righty, Bo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Bo Miller <laughs> joining me on here for a wonderful, wonderful uh, talk about the ba basketball teams of Valley Forge and about this tournament that has been upon us this week. And that, so definitely some good vibes from Valley Forge. I don't know if I want, if I even, I mean, I'm around 24 minutes right now on this one. I don't, don't think anyone else is on. So, I don't know if anyone else wants to wanted to call in or not, but I'm if no one else decides they want to call in, I think I'm gonna just I might close up shop for the night. I mean we have a they have a lot uh, there's a lot going on. I have a lot to do tomorrow. Uh, of course one last day of national tourney coverage which will be tomorrow as uh, 
all the games will end at nine by nine p.m. I'm go actually gonna watch the Kentucky Christian Maranatha game, even though it won't mean much to me. I'm a dedicated reporter. That's what I am, and that's what Mikey Report is about: reporting this stuff. So, oh, hold on. Hold on, I might have another caller on this on here, so I don't want to miss out on them. Let me get my arrow back over here. Just want to remind them that I'm only doing audio uh, Skype, not video, because it'll just be a little bit easier for me because of doing it live on Ustream. It's kind of hard to do a video uh, Ustream <laughs> for us. So I'm just going to wait for them to wait for uh, the one uh, crew to call in and hello ladies I know I heard about CCSN watching me. Uh, so, uh, I heard actually from the assistant coach of the, the Valley Forge men's team, Tim Pomeran. Okay, there we go. What did you think about the game today? Uh, which one? <laughs> I've been watching almost all of them this entire weekend. Women. Let's start with women first. Uh, Valley Forge or, can, or any of them? Well, me myself, I'm actually uh, I support the Valley Forge team, but I I'll talk about any of them if you so desire. No, I want to know who are you supporting. Oh That's well, talk about. I'm uh, definitely a Valley Forge uh, fan. I'm actually their announcer, so I kind of have to s slightly be for them. I'm actually on the campus right now. All right. Well, let's start with the Valley Forge woman. What did you think? Uh, well, today was rough for us. I mean, we didn't really have our game on like we normally would. Um, we, like you saw on uh, Thursday, we ended up having a decent run at the end to catapult us over Clearwater, eighty-three seventy-two. But today we didn't have that surge, so to speak. Hey, that's my name! <laughs> yeah, I kind of use a play on words a lot of times. As be careful, be careful. <laughs> as my friends uh, on the Valley Forge media department know. Um, but, uh, I mean, we didn't have that run like we did against Clear... Clearwater against Kentucky and like I was saying earlier Kentucky is a better squad in the second half second semester than they were in November when we faced them and defeated them in our gym so I mean it definitely was experience in the tournament is definitely a factor but I know I had spoken with coach Arnett uh, in November I had spoke to him after the uh, game in November. 
you are like a big dog. <laughs> directly to the court. I want to be just like you when I grow up. <laughs> I think you might be older than me, <laughs> Serge. <laughs> I'm only I'm only 23 going on 24, so. I'm 19. Only 19? Wow. Seem a little bit older than that, man. <laughs> but, like I said, uh, Coach Ron Arnett doesn't really like to play freshmen. So he had to work with the, that whole squad in order to get them really ready for this big run that they did and... I'm glad that he had this. He has this caliber team. Great stuff, man. Great stuff. Well, you're on to the finals tomorrow in the men's division. I just want to hear Mikey's prediction. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, be we're. Care, hey, be very careful, okay? <laughs> this is one chance you have. Okay. Well, let me see. I am looking at my stuff here because I did calculate some of the playoff scores and that. So, according to how things... <laughs> okay, well, I have uh, Valley Forge. Um, I'm saying Valley Forge is the favorite by like five or seven points, even though my bracket, my CCSN bracket for Chick-fil-A has a 77-75 prediction. I might have to change that slightly for this and say probably around... Uh, 75 to a um, 68 uh, Great. score. Great. Uh, no, Valley Forge. Valley Forge is the, uh, has the points favorite right now. They are scoring. They have a better margin of victory. They have better points for and better points against. They're... Ha Valley Forge is a plus four in points against and a plus one point five in points for. Man, you're really good at you must be good at math, right? Well, I I'm a part statistician too, so I kind of have to keep up with all this as well. We need you on staff here. <laughs> well, you talk to Colin, Trent, and Justin about that, and uh, try to get me out to the next year's national tournaments. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got the computer generation. I um, I do. Generation? That's what, what generation is that? <laughs> well, I use my computer in my brain because that served me quite well over the years. There we go. You're a good man, Mikey. Well, listen up. I got to rest up for tomorrow. I got a long day, all right? Yeah, I understand. Me too, man. I heard you're the man in Bali Ford, so I have to make sure and call and pay my respects. Right? Oh, well, thank you, good friend. I I expect to uh, try to catch a little bit of your uh, post-game interviews. And they want you to do more sideline reporting, like more during the game. You should try to do that. Upon Mike, I'll make it a Mikey's edition. Okay. Set, send us a resume. We'll check it out. All right, I'll have to send it out. <laughs> okay. All right, have a good one, Serge. Nice talking good to you. Brother. And ladies and gentlemen, that was actually the uh, CC, uh, the Christian College Sports Networks, Serginio, here on the Mikey Report. I feel like. Uh, I'm in honor because I always talk about CCSN and being a part of the Mikey Report. I actually want Cole and Trent on, so if we could possibly try to get them somehow, some way. Um, but also Valley Forge Digital Media Depart uh, team, who has been broadcasting the games throughout the women's tournament, they've been out in Circleville helping CCSN out. I like to thank them and thank them for helping out with this uh, wonderful um, br uh, helping out with calling in as well. So want to thank them. Thank Mr. Ethan Ballantyne for allowing Serginio to use his uh, Skype account. So blessing and an honor. I'm actually shaking right now because of having a 
member of the CCSN team. And so, it's just incredible. <laughs> All right. And of course, my prediction is <laughs> going to be on pretty much CCSN. And of course, I've been using uh, my, my comments in the blog have been through Mikey Report. So it's been there. And it's been wonderful. The Women's National Tournament uh, broadcasting crew in Ohio, CCSN Valley Forge Digital Media, I thank them again. Thank Bo Miller for being a wonderful analyst, I'd have to say, for the uh, tournament from, the, uh, from a Valley Forge fan perspective. So, whew. I can't believe it's been this crazy. Crazy day today. It's going to be even crazier tomorrow, as Sir Gini, Sir Ginio and myself have said. Crazy games. Let me run down the times of games again. For those of you... Okay, we have consolation bracket for the, women, com, the women's uh, tournament. Going from seventh place to championship, Clearwater versus Hillsdale, seven at one p.m. North Central at Gra against Grace at three p.m. Ohio Christian Valley Forge at five p.m. KCU Maranatha at seven p.m. for the championship. In men's action, fifth place game is against North Central and. North Central and Ohio Christian, 85 to 70, and uh, third place game is Dallas Christian versus Central Bible, 67 to 60, and then the final, the championship game rematch of 2009's national championship, Valley Forge and Grace. So. That <laughs> games games there are one o'clock, three o'clock, and five o'clock Eastern. Twelve o'clock, two o'clock, and four o'clock Central. Don't don't want to confuse anyone there. Again, I want to thank everyone who has been a part of this uh, for the broadcast, mainly um, executive producer, director, and <laughs> myself. And stats breakdown, more or less myself. Information, Christian College Sports Net, Valley Forge, Digital Media, C Central Bible Digital Media. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. There, of course, make sure you visit uh, the YouTube channel. This will be up there as well as on this Ustream account. And we also will have, um, what else? I'm trying to think. Uh, Cafe Press, make sure you go on there for merchandise. Uh, CafePress.com slash The Mikey Report Shop. And also we have a what, free email, uh, free web address, MikeyReport.webs.com for all Mikey pretty much almost all Mikey Report coverage. Tomorrow, last day of National Tournament coverage. Maybe I can get Cole and Trent to come on. What you say, guys? Uh, maybe I can get Coop and, or Justin from Missouri to weigh in on everything out there. Maybe I can get Serge again. <laughs> Who knows? But, again, want to thank everyone and everything that has made this possible the faithful viewers of the Mikey Report so I will see you next time which is tomorrow more or less 9 o'clock Eastern um, I might do a 7 o'clock uh, to cover guys 9 
a little bit after nine for girls. We'll see what transpires. Good night. God bless. See you tomorrow right here on TMR Live.